Hi. Thank you. Um, hello, I'm Jill. Um, I recently found out that I'm an optimist. Um, I did not know, I thought I was a pessimist, and then I found out I had a secret optimist trapped inside, like some kind of hope babushka. <laughs> and now I know, I start to see it everywhere. I think all human beings are inherently optimistic as a species. Like if we weren't optimists, why would we have invented so many different ways to make wishes? <laughs> oh, birthday candles, <laughs> shooting stars, eyelashes, <laughs> wells. <laughs> Wells? Well, only human beings would ruin a perfectly good well by fanging coins in it for wishes. Uh, ding, splash. What did you wish for? Clean drinking water. <laughs> Every time, so parched. And um, now I know I'm an optimist. I'm really taking pleasure in like the small delights in my life, like just little likes, things that I like. Not my loves, my likes. Carrot cake. Bunnings. <laughs> Being able to get a USB plug in on the first go. <laughs> it still hasn't happened yet. Um, obviously, it always goes wrong, wrong, right, how? <laughs> but a girl can dream. Um, being able to find my passport. That's more relief than like, but I really like the relief. <laughs> I keep my passport in a terrible place. I keep it in a drawer that I just call the chaos drawer. It's a drawer of my own making. It's just crammed full of things that have absolutely no business cohabiting, but are like a share house of lovable misfits in a rental crisis. <laughs> and I can't put my passport in a safer place because then I cannot find it because I know it lives in the chaos drawer. And I have quite a chaos drawer brain. Um, there's a lot crammed in there. She's got a lot of tabs open, you know? A lot of tabs on the daily, new tab. Bats, are they just leather birds? New tab, I think I would enjoy sport a lot more if the commentators took into account the horoscopes of the players. <laughs> you know, if it was just like, yeah, look, Maxi Gorn, he's a powerful forward, but he's also a Capricorn. <laughs> so with uh, Mercury in retrograde today, he's really gonna need to be grounded to stand a chance against Collingwood. <laughs> New tab, sometimes I feel hopeful for humanity and then I see someone feed a chip to a seagull and I think, nah, we deserve everything we get. <laughs> New tab, sometimes I feel hopeful for humanity and then I stand at an airport baggage carousel and I think, nah, we deserve everything we get. <laughs> New tab, because one of the only human constants is greed and that must be why we have deal or no deal. New tab, sometimes I think mindfulness is just a buzzword to make you feel bad about having thoughts. <laughs> but that is something that I thought of while I was being mindful. <laughs> it's a lot going on in there. And um, the feeling of very occasionally being able to like Hansel and Gretel breadcrumb my way back to a point that I was trying to make is exactly how it feels to find my passport in the chaos drawer. I was feeling tired, I was feeling lost I was feeling like I could not never seem to bear the cost of Everything that I was trying to afford Bought so many things and I was still bored Trying to be cool, I was trying to be nice I was trying to make decisions without ever thinking twice Just tired, I was feeling lonely I was feeling down, I was feeling like the only person in the world Who didn't have a place I knew I had my body but I didn't know my face I didn't know who I was or what I stood for My beliefs so what I'm good for Like I couldn't connect, like I couldn't reach out Like I couldn't stand up, like I I didn't feel proud, like I didn't feel right, like I didn't feel wrong I didn't have a home, like I didn't belong, like I wasn't sure who I should be And I couldn't explain that easily, like I didn't know which road was mine But then I ate something and I felt fine <laughs> Will I have an existential crisis every single time that I feel hunger? Or every time I go to the hairdresser and they say, so what do you do? And I look at myself in that mirror and I think, what do you do? Because <laughs> if you ask me who I am, I'll say I'm a comedian, a musician, and I also write, but in the darkest dark of night, I worry and I sometimes cry. If I stop working, do I die? If I'm not my job, then who am I? Not all the questions are rhetorical. 
nothing, that's fine. Holidays are just for when you have success at last, and then you take a break. For that success, we have to earn our happiness. We have to earn our happiness. Sounds like a solo for capitalism. I'm not sure of who I'm meant to be. Maybe that comes down to my family. Cause I'm one of five kids And though I'm short, I'm actually the eldest daughter Eldest daughters in the room, let me hear you! Yeah! Now let me hear you say Happy birthday, Mum, here's a present from all of us No verse for that one, just wanted to air a grievance Maybe I'm a wider sum of information Should I define myself by my entire generation? Cause I'm a millennial, straight up Gen Y You can recognise us by overplucked brows, skinny jeans Not knowing what chuggy means Or even how to say it, chuggy Your silence tells me everyone in this room is my age or older, perfect <laughs> Millennials, we all love brunch because we can't afford both breakfast and lunch. <laughs> Two meals in the day in this economy, the decadence. Actually, one of the biggest generational differences that I could never have been prepared for with younger people is that I didn't know that when I got older, the board game company Hasbro would release a gender parity version of the game Guess Who? Equal men and equal women in Guess Who? What the fuck? Cause how could I explain to someone half my age that when I was young, you never pick a woman in Guess Who? It was a surefire way to lose. Guess who? Cause if you pick Susan, the one woman with white hair, all your opponent had to do was be like, are you a woman? Yes? <laughs> do you have white hair? Yes? Are you Susan? Yes, I'm fucking Susan! <laughs> sure, my path to losing. I learned early playing games. If you want to succeed in life, be a white guy, just be James. Let's not even get into the fact that early Guess Who's idea of diversity was 19 white people and then five characters who were Italian. <laughs> God, I've been on so many tangents now. I'm not really sure of what this song was about Not sure Passport in the chaos drawer